If you want to try a tasty gin cocktail featuring the Papa Salt Coastal Gin, keep watching and let's talk drinks. Hi everybody, my name is George, I'm Knuff, and my job is bar. And today I'm going to make a tasty gin cocktail featuring the Papa Salt Coastal Gin owned by my hall pass, Margot Robbie, um, who's also a fellow Australian and Obviously, if you've watched the Barbie movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but I just want to do something pink, something delicious. And I really want to support Australian because um, local is really important to us down at the 18th Amendment Bar. And Margot, when you're down our way next, send me a message. Comment, subscribe, Margot. We really need you. And do her, do her, you can do that too. And um, I can make this personally for you. Bring your husband down, even though you're my whole pass, it's all good. But yeah, come and visit us. So the first ingredient that I'm going to use is obviously the hero of the cocktail. I'm going to use 45 mils or ounce and a half for my American viewers as well of the Papa Salt Coastal Gin. I will be doing a review of this gin coming up. Uh, it is just really, really delicious, salty. The botanicals are amazing. It's nearly as good as our 18th Amendment gin. Um, nearly as good. Sorry, Margot. Super simple ingredients, okay, and what I wanted to do, which I thought would work well, and obviously to add the pink color to this cocktail, is I'm using a cherry blossom liqueur, which is made from the Sakura flowers. I'm gonna do 30 mils an ounce, because I really want that vibrant color. I want it to be a little bit sweeter style to, uh, you know, get all the Barbie fans drinking, because I don't wanna drink something too strong. And to balance that out, I'm obviously going to add some citrus. I think lemon's going to work really well with the botanicals in the coastal gin and also with the Sakura. 30 mils or an ounce. And last but not least, to add a little bit of foam to the cocktail, instead of using egg white, I'm going to use some aquafaba. I'm going to do about 20 mils, two thirds of an ounce. How simple is that, right? Add some ice. Now I am George and I'm Knuff and I am great at doing stuff. Shake it up. All my viewers that haven't watched the Barbie movie are probably wondering what the fuck is he going on about? But check out the movie, it's pretty cool. Make sure that you chill down your glass. This is like the modern cosmopolitan. Beautiful. That is a really nice pink color. I don't think we need to garnish that any further. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole pass. Let's give it a try. That is freaking delicious. That cherry blossom is working really well with the gin. The lemon juice is definitely balancing it out. It is on the sweeter side, which is what I wanted. Um, if you wanted to, you could also add a little bit of maybe some orange bitters or something like that to not make it as sweet, but sweet sells, especially here in Geelong. Uh, check it out, give it a try, like, subscribe, buy a bottle. All right, it really is worth it. As you can see, it's nearly empty. We're going through a fair bit of it here at the 18th Amendment Bar. Margot, come on down. We've got a booth here in the corner. Bring your hubby down. We'll make beautiful, delicious cocktails for you. Please like, subscribe. See you soon, and let's talk drinks.